Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Here we are going to discuss about subcarrier power allocation for OFDMA based CR with joint overlay and underlay spectrum access. Next we are going to discuss about the proposed system working procedures. That is the spectrum utilization in CR network is very much useful to design of cognitive radio network system. The spectrum utilization is increased by using cognitive radio networks which detects the underutilized licensed frequency band and also overutilized licensed frequency bands. The most existing studies mainly work on the joint PDF eigenvalues of matrix to measure the channel performance. The statistical exponent is fixed as the impact the average power constraints on the energy efficiency and the capacity of the OFDM mobile multimedia system is disturbed. The energy efficiency decreases with increase in average power constraint and the effective capacity increases with increase in average power constraint. So the power constraints which is very much useful to design of spectrum utilization. The description of joint overlay and underlay spectrum access mechanism has to be discussed in this paper and also low complexity suboptimal subcarrier power allocation scheme is proposed. The traditional algorithm focused either underlay or overlay but this algorithm combinedly called underlay and overlay spectrum as a joint system. Next we are going to discuss about the architectural diagram of the proposed system. It consists of five major blocks CR network, OFDM system, joint carrier power allocation, suboptimal power allocation, performance evaluation. CR network. The CR network consists of three types underlay, interview, overlay. If the CR constrained to cause minimal interference to non-cognitive systems then it is called underlay. The CR exploits the spectral holes to avoid the interfacing with the non-cognitive radio system is called the interwave system. And also CR over here and enhance the non-cognitive transmission then it is called the overlay spectrum system. OFDM system. It consists of random message signal this, that is called the input data and which is encoded to be a samples and th this conversion has to be taken place in the binary to decimal conversion process then the QAM modulation technique is applied here joint carrier and power allocation suboptimal power allocation schemes that has to be discussed in this paper in the optical scheme proposed a system that is uh, earlier to construct the optimal power using Lagrange parameters which is most uh, complex one so the complexity of the system is to be reduced by using joint carrier and power allocation schemes <coughs> the sub <coughs> the subcarrier power allocation schemes and also the suboptimal power allocation scheme that has to be discussed in this paper the power allocation schemes of spectrum utilization which is maximized or minimized using numerical method calculations suitable modulation technique is applied in OFDM system the random number of samples that are to be passed through this module joint carrier and power allocations then the evaluation of power various power constraints total average user capacity of the channel is estimated finally next we are going to discuss about the running procedure of our proposed system the proposed system working procedure consists of two functions one is main function and another one is channel ray function in channel ray function the constraints of power transmission bandwidth frequency range that has to be declared in this para in this sub function in the main function the random generation of encoded symbols input data 
QAM modulation technique that are all described in this main function and also the power constraints the total average capacity of the users that has to be calculated in the main function the CR network in general the radio network consists of single CR user opportunistically access the unused spectrum in overlay approach so this algorithm that has to be implemented in main function OFDM design that also has to be carried out in this main function the input data to be encoded operation and QAM modulation technique is applied the input data that has to be converted into a binary to decimal conversion and uh, using the modulation technique the output symbols are randomly estimated in this main function joint carrier power allocation in general subcarrier power allocation means the total bandwidth can be divided into number of subcarrier bandwidth among the total Z subcarrier can be split into n overlay sub subcarrier and l underlay subcarrier by using this splitting up technology the subcarrier power allocation has to be described and power allocation the total each carrier can be allocated with the interference channel the power can be allocated to underlay carrier and overlay carrier that has to be declared as pu and po subcarrier allocation to maximize the total transmission rate we allocate the particular subcarrier to a CR user that has the highest signal to interference noise ratio being subcarrier and power allocation suboptimal power allocation scheme also declared in this module low complexity suboptimal power allocation scheme is proposed so the functions for these four procedures that has to be declared in the main function now I run the main function the overall simulation to be run for the cycle number of 100 simulations this simulation shows various plots this first plot shows the number of users and also spectral distribution in the channel and in the second plot this shows the total power transmitted through the Raleigh fading channel which is estimated for the number of users then this is called the po power budget against power budget how the transmitted rate vary for underlay spectrum access overlay spectrum access joint overlay underlay spectrum access of optimal scheme and joint overlay underlay spectrum access of suboptimal scheme then this plot shows the interference threshold value the threshold value is setting up based upon the frequency power constraints so for varying interference threshold value how the transmitted power is varied for these two schemes and this plot it shows total achievable transmission rate for the number of users using this optimal and suboptimal overlay underlay spectrum access scheme is displayed in this window and finally the rate of user individual user variation has to be displayed in this plot thank you